Richmond police crews are investigating after they pulled an empty car from the James River. It happened early this morning near Riverside Drive and Shirley Road. 8 News reporter Jamal Williams is in the Digital Center for us live. Jamal, do police know how that car got there? Well, Deanna, Eric, police say it's unknown how the car ended up in the river, why it was there, or who even could have done it. A homeowner who lives near the Riverside says there's only one word to describe the incident. Bizarre. <laughs> okay. Unusual, bizarre. Three words, two descriptions, turn into one interesting morning for Riverside homeowner Ed Cunningham. I was in bed at, uh, in about somewhere around 5 a.m., maybe a little bit before I saw these flashing lights reflected all the way on my bedroom ceiling up there. Cunningham says he walked down the road to find Richmond police responding to the James River near Riverside Drive around 4 a.m. this morning. Officials say the dive team took more than two hours to fish the sedan out of the water and say the car was empty when they removed it. Well, I assume this was sort of a fluke. Uh, probably won't happen again for a while. I hope not. Um, so I'm not sure what could be done to prevent something, an anomaly like this occurring again. Cunningham says this incident is just one of many that have happened along Riverside and thinks more should be done to curb bad driving and protect people enjoying the river. Frankly, wish there was more of a police presence down here. Uh, there's, there, there's uh, people drive too fast on Riverside. There's a lot of pedestrian presence and some speed bumps on River, Riverside Drive. The speed limit's 25 and everybody goes 40 or 50. Although rescue crews pulled the car out of the river, there's still pieces of metal and broken car parts near the water. Cunningham says he's willing to fish them out himself if it means keeping the water clean and making it a, a safe space that people can enjoy. Live in the Digital Center, Jamal Williams, 8 News.